It's an invasion of our airspace. In focus now, Republican Congressman Jeff Van Drew of New Jersey, member of the House Judiciary Committee on the Hill right now. How do you how do you address this at this point? Well, here's the real deal, Harris. You know, I'm also on the Transportation Committee on the Aviation Subcommittee, and I've gotten to know people. And from very high sources, very qualified sources, uh, very responsible sources, I'm going to tell you the real deal. Um, Iran launched a mothership probably about a month ago that contains these drones. That mothership is off, the, I'm going to tell you the deal, it's off the east coast of the United States of America. They've launched drones, is everything that we can see or hear, and again, these are from high sources, I don't say this lightly. Now, you know, we know there was a probability it could have been the, our own government. We know it's not our own government right. because they would have let us know. It could have been some really glorified hobbyist or hobbyists that were doing something unbelievable. They don't have the technology. Uh, but let's pretend that's possible. The third possibility was somebody, an adversarial country, doing this. Know that Iran made a deal with China to purchase drones, motherships, and technology in order to go forward. Um, the sources I have are good. They can't reveal who they are because they are speaking to me in confidentiality. These drones should be shot down. Whether it was some crazy yeah. hobbyist that we can't imagine, or whether it is Iran, and I think it very possibly could be, they should be shot down. We are well, not getting the full deal, and the military is on alert with this. Look, um, you, you've given us some pretty dire information just here, and I want to make sure that our viewers are digesting this. Iran has the capability to pull up along our eastern seaboard and launch drones the size of an SUV into the skies of several states, particularly New Jersey, where we know the incoming president has a large home, also in the same county or nearby where some of these drones in New Jersey have been seen. That capability exists. It's possible some of those drones are here. So I have two questions. How are they fueling them? They have to land somewhere. Drones don't fly forever. Why don't they close down the airspace? Yes, it's inconvenient. Yes, it's the holidays. Shut it down. But if you start shooting things and you don't know how they're fueled, that's going to be mass explosions. This isn't like one spy balloon. Congressman, this is serious. We've got to bring them down, and we've got to find a way to bring them down. I don't know exactly where they're landing, obviously. I have some information. And again, mm -hmm. this isn't just Jeff Van Drew. Oh, let's, you know, let's get on Harris no, Faulkner's show and say not. something outrageous. I'm telling you, the straight deal from very high positioned individuals who are telling me this. And the bottom line is they're launching them. They are across the country. We don't even have anything like this. No. Uh, our government and also certainly our hobbyists don't. So think about it. It's, it not only do I have the information, but it's also common sense. We've got to get them down. We've got to determine how they function, what they do, make sure that we can get them, and you're right, in a safe way. When I say shoot them down, get them down any way that you can, but right now they're probably extracting information. This is a clear and present danger to the United States and to our president-elect.